It's your girl, not the average trucker. I'm not your average trucker, whatever, man. I'm, I'm in a bad mood. Considering today my Carolina Panthers gave one away, man. Gave it away. There's no other excuse for that. You got a rookie out there, DJ Moore. I mean, I get it. You play football in Maryland. Redskins Stadium is, you know, in the state of Maryland. Trying hard, I get it, man, you know, but them two turnovers was, you know, basically the game. Because directly off each turnover, first time they got it, the very next play, they scored a touchdown. The second one, they ended up with a field goal on. Yeah, I know Cam threw like a, a crazy interception. But we lost by six, man. And it's, it's just heartbreaking because the Redskins are trash. Josh Norman, that clown gets an interception. That clown forces a fumble. And all they talk about on TV is how he been in two years, he ain't had an interception. Like, he's a total bust, y'all. Redskins gave him all that money. He ends up being a bust. We knew he was a bust in Carolina. People forget he was on our roster four years and had one good year. And then people out here calling him a shutdown corner. How you a shutdown corner when all you know all you play is zone? That's why you know Richard Sherman used to run his mouth, and I thought it was hilarious. The only shutdown corner used to be Revis, cause he was a man to man dude. You got your boy uh, uh, Peters Peterson, whatever his name is, used to you know that that was out there with Arizona. That was the only real shutdown corners. Everybody else was, you know, in some kind of zone scheme. But that's neither here nor there. I just never, I never liked Josh Norman. He a clown. But, you know, I can't, I can't fault the man for, you know, getting his bread. That's on him. But as far as my Panthers today, man, it's just, it was just sickening to watch that game, dude. We gave that away. We looked like our play calling was terrible. Cam terrible that's two weeks in a row cam done played terrible and it's just disgusting man it's like you look forward all week to sunday to watch your team play and then when y'all just perform terribly it's just the outlook for the rest of the week because you know that's the beginning of the week y'all look for the rest of the week is all jacked up man you know you, you thinking about going to work this week and all you got to do this week and your team done lost and it's just uh terrible man terrible I, I want to call out all week I mean I work for myself so I don't know who I'm calling but I want to just stay home and curl up in the bed you know what I mean we got no business I mean that was a guaranteed dub in my eyes Redskins are terrible Gruden can't coach neither Gruden brother can coach we, we had no we should not have lost that game B we should not have lost that game man Alex Smith is just check down King yeah, Adrian Peterson looking like he was 25 years old today. I mean, our defense, this new D coordinator, man, like Eric Washington, fire that dude, man. He don't know what he, this dude calling a cover two every play. He's not aggressive. The two previous D coordinators we had that ended up getting head coaching jobs was because it was some aggressive dudes, man. We was blitzing a lot. You know, we got a good front, front four. We, shit, we got a good front seven. No reason we shouldn't be out there blitzing instead of calling these bonehead zones all game. Like it's like watching two terrible dudes play Madden that let the game call the plays for them or something. Like it, I'm just disgusted, man. It's your guy, not your average trucker. I hope all y'all out there safe, having a good time. But I'm in a terrible mood, man. Like we lost to the Redskins, B. The Redskins, man. Alex Smith, yo. Word to God.